So I know a lot of you are excited because Apple has just released the Series 6 watch. In this video, I'm gonna go over my views on the Series 6 and why I'll be sticking with my Series 4 watch. So stay tuned. So the Apple Watch Series 6, in addition to the colors gray, silver, and gold comes in blue and red. So here I have the red in 40 millimeters. And as you can see on the box, there's a nice logo with watch in red. So this is how the back looks like. Let's open it up. And there's a nice different design with red Apple Watch in the background and the nice red cover on the top. So inside, as you can see, there's the charger with the wire, no power adapter. And here is the Apple Watch. Nicely tucked inside and protected. And it looks pretty nice in red if you see it up front. It's pretty sleek looking and to compare it, to the Apple Series watch. There isn't that much of a difference besides both of these being different in sizes, but practically they're identical. There hasn't been any major changes on the outside. So the Apple Series watch six comes in two sizes, the 40 mm and the 44 mm. And the prices start at $429. Here I have the sports loop. Now the changes that have been introduced in the Series Watch 6 is that it's 2.5 times brighter than the Series 5. And there has been addition of the blood oxygen monitor, which allows you to check the oxygen in your blood even while you're sleeping or in the background. And this is the new strap that Apple has introduced. And to be honest, it feels the same as the sports strap I have. This is just red in color. So let's go ahead and remove this. So the blood oxygen monitor allows you to check the oxygen in your blood and if it's less than 90%, you should probably go check it out in the hospital. Okay, there we go, it's a snug fit. Let's go ahead and attach the other side. Apple has also added new watch faces to the Series 6. And there's a U1 chip which allows you to open cars, which is a feature that might be coming up in upcoming cars. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now this has a always on display which was included in the Series 5. So that's not a new feature. And one thing that really frustrated me was Apple's commercial for the Series 6. Where they were saying this feature is already in it. This feature is already in it. Yes, they are already in it. But what are you improving on? Like Apple, seriously, what are you improving on? So as you can see, this flap is very nice, attaches seamlessly, no issues there. So let's go ahead and pair this to a smartphone so we can go ahead and check it out. Alright, so I have an iPhone XR here, let's go ahead and pair it with this phone. So you put your camera on top of the Apple Watch and let it do its thing. So there you go. Your Apple Watch is paired with your phone. Now we'll let it set up. So you can go ahead and enable route tracking if you like. I'm not going to enable it. Siri if you would like. I'm not going to use Siri. I'd like to share your watch analytics with Apple. You can go ahead and do that. I won't do that. Okay. 
You can go ahead and adjust the text size. For me, this is perfect. I'm okay with it. If you would like to add a passcode, you can go ahead and add a passcode. I won't be adding a passcode and let's enable blood oxygen. Continue, continue, continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the Apple Watch sync and we'll be back. So the Apple Watch is ready. Press the digital crown to start. So let's go ahead and start it. And there we go. So this is one of the new faces I see on the Apple Watch Series 6. All right, so the Apple Watch is set up. Let's go ahead and try out the new blood oxygen monitor. So go here, click right here. Okay, so you place your hand on a surface. So we have to move it a little bit back since mine is over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it a little bit more back. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. All right, so I have 97% blood oxygen. I guess I'm okay and I don't have to end up in the hospital. So there you go, the new blood oxygen monitor. Now this is not a medical device and it does not replace a medical device, even Apple says that. So this is something your doctor may ask you. If you're interested in the data for yourself, you can go ahead and use the blood oxygen monitor. So let's go ahead and check out the new faces that the Apple Watch has. All right. So you go to face gallery and then we have a bunch of new Apple Watch faces and I still don't like any of them to be honest. I still use Mickey Mouse and Toy Story because I just dislike the rest of the designs but and I, I was always wondering like when would Apple come out with third party Apple supported faces but there hasn't been many so we're stuck with the ones that apple releases but here they are in case you're inter interested typography memo g gmt chronograph pro count up stripes and artist i don't know why you would want this face on your apple watch but yeah that's an option so if i had to choose i probably would choose the memo g because I can go ahead and around and play with it. So let's see. I'll go ahead and install this dog right here and click on add. So there we go. It's been added to my watch. Let's click on it. And then we have the new dog memo G on my watch. So I can press on it and it makes faces and does stuff. So it's winking at me. So yeah, if you want to kill time and fool around, you have this option now to play around with your Memoji. Yeah, I could probably see myself doing this at meetings. Not good, very distracting. Now you also might be wondering, what, what do I use my Apple Watch for? So mainly when I'm in a meeting, it's not polite to take out your phone in the meeting, but I am curious on who's calling or texting me. It allows me to see my Apple Watch and read the message. If it's urgent, I can always step out of the meeting. If it's not, you know, I remember to reply to the person. So that's one of the features I use the Apple Watch for. Another feature I like to use it for is tracking my workouts. So whether it's cardio or whether I'm at the gym, it allows me to count the calories and my movement and my walks. So this way I, I stay on my goals and I can track myself on the Apple Watch. So these are the two main ways I use the Apple Watch. Which ways do you guys use the Apple Watch?
leave your comments in the comments box below. I'm interested in hearing you. So Apple will be continuing the trend of removing the power adapters in their watches. And rumor has it that the upcoming iPhone 12 will not include an adapter. Now, Apple claims it's for the environment. In my opinion, I don't believe it. If it is for the environment, I believe that Apple should not include the power adapter, but decrease the price for the product. And if you do need a power adapter, include it with the product, but bring it back to the normal price. So in the case of an Apple Watch, if you're selling the Apple Watch for $429 and you need the power adapter, Apple should sell the watch for $429 with the power adapter. But if you do not need it, they should deduct the cost of the power adapter while making your purchase. But that's just my opinion. So overall, Apple has not really been innovating as much as they used to. They're releasing incremental changes and people are still purchasing their products. I don't have the same excitement I used to have when purchasing an Apple product because there's usually one or two small changes and consumers still rush to purchase Apple products. So until we stop purchasing every product they release or hold on to the products we have, Apple won't really innovate. In my opinion, if you own a Series 5 watch, I would say stick with your Series 5 watch. If you own a Series 4 watch, that's your personal preference. I will not be upgrading to the Series 6 watch because there isn't that much of a change for me to move up to a Series 6 watch. I don't really care about the blood oxygen monitor. I don't personally care about the always on screen for the Apple Watch. But if you care about those features, then definitely upgrade to the Apple 6 watch. And overall, I've been happy with my purchase with the Series 4. It's still running strong. I like the band. However, it does have a lot of scratches from being banged up at the gym. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. So if you don't own an Apple Watch and you would like to enter the ecosystem of Apple Watches, then go ahead and purchase the Series 6 watch. However, if you own older versions, it's subjective and based on how you feel. Personally, I will not be upgrading to the new Apple Watch. So how do you guys feel? Do you feel that Apple is still creating exciting products? And even though there's only one or two incremental changes in every release, you're still happy with them? I want to know your comments. Leave them in the comment box below. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're interested in purchasing the Series 6 watch, I'll leave the affiliate link in the description box below. If you haven't already, subscribe. And until next time, see you guys.